right thinks that the left uh, is in a very different place with free speech than they have been before, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. This is arrogant. You don't punish somebody. It would be like if we stopped Henry Ford from making the cars right. because we didn't like what he... Yeah, but he... can you take one anecdotal example? One idiot, right? Truly an idiot to Th stop... This is not an idiot. This is yeah. someone with, with power. I feel like Bill Maher is becoming a fan favorite. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, look at all the crazy new merch that we have out right now. Yard signs. We got some brand new shirts. And we got another shirt that we're dropping here soon um, that's insane. It's the coldest shirt that I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know if we're going to release it or not. I got to think about it. But anyway, uh, get you some merch on the, on the, on the merch store. Uh, links will be in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I'm dressed like this, got a watch on, got a collar shirt on. I just threw my Trump hat on because I was going to um, acquire an, a company that does similar stuff that we do. That's I'm in the business of trying to acquire more companies to expand. And, and anybody that's thinking about investments, th this is what you should be thinking about. You know, some people think about buying their own house and stuff like that as an investment. If you're in the business realm, acquiring other companies that's already doing it and giving cash flow that you could sell later on is a good investment. Anyway, let's get to some money talk with Mark Cuban and your boy Bill Maher. Now, I don't know what he been doing lately, but he might as well come out and say he's a Trump supporter. And I love the fact that him being a leftist or a, a leftist in the past, that the leftists are okay with going on to his podcast or going on to his show, and then he is not afraid of embarrassing them. He's not afraid of calling them on the carpet, especially Trump hating Mark Cuban. Many of my friends who are big money people, I'm talking about managing billions of dollars, rich, rich as you know what, says that Mark Cuban is a complete idiot. And the dude, the dude is literally foregoing what he has done to become wealthy because he hates Trump so bad. Like, meaning that he did something different to become wealthy as he's preaching today because he just hates Trump. He's willing to lose all of his wealth because he hates Trump. Let's roll the clip and see Bill Maher get on their head. But, okay, here's the, the guy who I think epitomizes the good, the bad, everything in between, and just it's sort of a microcosm of America, is Elon Musk. Because this week, um, he had an amazing week. He caught, this is from Politico, he uh, pulled off an engineering marvel where he, launched the largest, most powerful rocket in the world, and on the first try, caught the 23-story tall booster Insane. that brings it up in midair with using chopstick-like mechanical arms. We made a little video called Elon Musk's Week uh, that encapsulate this. Would you show it? It'll just take a few seconds. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. That's amazing. That. That is Isn't insane. that amazing? Yeah. And then wow. That's insane, and then, too. And then, <laughs> That's just as insane. Same guy. Yeah. That's my point. <laughs> that's my point. Yeah. Is that that's the same guy. This is such a game changer with exploring mm -hmm. the stars with the rocket. But he also, I mean, the tweets, I mean... Uh, FEMA used its budget ferrying illegals into the country instead of saving American lives. Treason. That's the same guy. He also said, tweeted, Mark Cuban and Rachel Maddow are the same person. Don't believe. <laughs> now, it's funny, the, the, the smug leftists think that that's a, like, a, oh, he's, he's so crazy for saying this. He's right. He's telling the truth. They did divert FEMA funds to illegals. And therefore, when we had a natural disaster, they didn't have the funds. They need Congress to go back and give them more money because they spend money on illegals. That's a fact. Oh, my God. He just goes to show you could be one of the world's greatest entrepreneurs, literally of the last century, and be a troll at the same time. Right. right. You know, people were shocked when Henry Ford, who created the modern age, went to testify on Capitol Hill. Yeah. And what, what, what did historians say? Congressmen yep. and senators were shocked how ignorant this guy was. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know Elon Musk. And an anti-Semite. And an anti-Semite. Yeah, an anti yeah. anti but this is a guy who's, who's one of the great minds mm -hmm. of our time. Right. And I hate that he's in the sewer with, with, with you know, Twitter. 
and, and doing all of this stuff. He, support whoever you want to support, but, but again, but you don't have to lie some, your ass off. There's so much disinformation okay, that's being but here's, spread. Here's where the rubber meets the road, because this is important. He wanted to this week. He's suing, but he's suing. Uh, the 12 member commission, the California Coastal Commission. He launches his rockets from Vandenberg Space Force Base. He used to call it Air Force Base, but I guess now we're into Space Force time. Uh, <laughs> he wanted a, 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 pr a proposal to expand the number of launches. Okay, again, one of the most impressive companies, an American company. He wants a little more, give it to him. No. The commission, some bureaucrat, said, nope, and this is the reason why. Commissioner Carol Hart saying... But here we're dealing with a company that does not... that is the, the head of which has aggressively injected himself into the uh, presidential race and made it clear uh, where, uh, what his point of view is, um, as was reflect... And he's managed a company in a way that was just described by Commissioner Newsom that I find to be very disturbing. That compounded with their refusal, my understanding was that they would be here today on Zoom. I am very concerned that even after meeting with me, uh, my expressing my uh, feelings. Chair. That, yes. Sorry to interrupt. They, they did participate on Zoom today. Oh, OK, that brief comment. Oh, apologize, but yeah. In a more significant way. It, it, let me put it this way, in a more significant way. Um, so I, I just am very concerned that by concurring today that we then will lose our ability going forward um, with a potential change in administrations, potential loss of your leadership. I mean, those things concern me um, very much. We're dealing with a company, the head of which has aggressively injected himself into the presidential race and made it clear what his point of view is. Yes, because he lives in America, yeah. and he can do that. Yeah. It has nothing to do with this. And, you know, the right thinks that the left uh, is in a very different place with free speech than they have been before, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. This is arrogant. You don't punish somebody. It would be like if we stopped Henry Ford from making the cars right. because we didn't like what Yeah, but he... can you take one anecdotal example? One idiot, right? Truly an idiot to but stop... This is not an idiot. This is someone with, with power. And uh, I had to cut this video short uh, because I got to get to another interview. But I hope this encapsulates the, the totality of what Bill Maher is saying. This is not an isolated incident. People have alienated Elon Musk because they don't like that he support Donald Trump. Even Mark Cuban was on there talking trash about Elon Musk and saying he's crazy. And even the other dummy on there was saying that he's crazy because he somehow supports Donald Trump. Because somehow he's calling out what FEMA had done and, and, and what they're doing with the money. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You, the, the guy is brilliant for a reason. And his reasoning for supporting Donald Trump is on par with his brilliance that he already exudes. It's very clear to me. That Elon Musk know what he's talking about. We know Elon Musk know what he's talking about. Is he perfect on everything? No. Do I agree with everything he does? No. He probably don't care nothing about abortions, which I think is important for me. But the guy is intelligent enough to know that these people are going to crash the economy. They don't have any real uh, uh, policy positions that they're going to eliminate free speech in this country. They're doing it to him already. They don't want to give him extra launches because he like Trump. I mean, wh what else you think they're going to do? You don't want to go along to get along. You don't want to get the vaccine. You don't want to do what we tell you to do. We're going to, we're going to cut off your, your, your finances. We're going to debank you. We're going to do all this other stuff. This is what they're going to do. This is what they want to do. This is how they control the populace. They take your guns. Then they, then they tell you, well, you, you either believe this politically or we shun you. Then they shun you. Then they start taking action against you. They don't like you. They indict you. They take you to jail. They change the laws. They expand the courts. They get rid of Electoral College. They work off the popular, popular vote. They influx illegals in this country. Give them all amnesty. Now they take over and they have power forever. There's one uniparty system. That's what they plan on doing. Elon Musk is smart enough to see it. Hopefully Bill Maher is waking up a little bit. And you know Cuban them, they hate him so much, Trump, that they're willing to do anything, even lose all of their own wealth and reputation, just to say, I, just to stick it to Donald Trump. Well, I tell you what, it's not going to work. The cream will always rise to the top, 
and I believe that we're going to win this thing in the landslide, and we're going to rub their face in it. That's all I got to say. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.